Hi, I'm Chef Peter Sclafani from Rafino's Restaurant in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And today I'm going to cook with two of my favorite ingredients. One is fresh speckled trout, and the other one is Creole tomatoes. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do a pan-roasted speckled trout. Pan roasting is my favorite way of cooking fish. We're going to start with a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And then I always like to cook with a little butter. So we're going to take a piece of butter and throw that in a hot pan. Here I have my speckled trout that's already filleted. And we're going to just season it lightly with a little bit of Creole seasoning. And then I just have some flour that we're going to dust it in. And the flour has been seasoned with just a little bit of Creole seasoning as well. So what I'm going to do for pan roasting is I'm going to start my fish on what we like to call the presentation side, which that would be the side that was closest to the bones. So we're going to have the skin side up. And we're going to put that in the pan. And it's going to take just a minute for that to start and get golden brown on one side. <clears throat> then I have my oven set to 350 degrees. Um, it's important to do this with a pan that will fit in the oven. So I have a stainless steel pan here with the stainless handle. You don't want to use a wooden handle or a rubber handle for this. But the great thing about cooking the fish is it starts to uh, turn white right around the edges when it's ready. So we just want to get a little color on here. And now we're going to take the fish and gently flip it. You can see it's nice and golden brown already. And we're going to throw this whole thing in the oven. I need probably about six to eight minutes for a speckled trout. A little bit longer for a fish like a redfish or something like that. Next, we're going to make our Creole tomato vinaigrette. So I have some Creole tomatoes here. I get my Creole tomatoes down in St. Bernard Parish on uh, St. Bernard Highway from John Gallo. He's been growing Creole tomatoes for my family for three generations. We're going to... Um, just slice those Creole tomatoes into some wedges. That's kind of one of our traditions. After we go fishing, we always stop by Mr. Gallo's place and pick up some Creole tomatoes. So I'm just going to cut the ends off the onion. We're going to cut it in half. I'm going to peel that kind of papery layer off on the outside. And then I'm just going to slice this into some slices like that. So now we've got our tomatoes and our onions. I've got some fresh lemons that I've juiced. We're going to add some lemon juice. I have a little bit of chopped garlic. I have some dried oregano. We have a little fresh um, Italian flat leaf parsley that I'm just going to kind of rough chop a little bit. We're going to add some parsley to that. I have some salt. I like to use sea salt. A little fresh ground pepper. And then when I'm making vinaigrettes, one thing that I do is I add a few ice cubes to it. So I've got a few ice cubes we're going to add there. And then I've got some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to slowly I'm going to mix this together and slowly pour in that olive oil a little bit at a time and make sure everything's mixed together well. So I like to do three parts of my acid, which in this case is lemon juice, but it could be vinegar if you're making another kind of vinaigrette to um, three parts of olive oil. So, so one vinegar or lemon juice to three olive oil. And then we're just going to stir that up and we're going to let that sit for just a few minutes while we're waiting for our fish to finish cooking. Okay, so like I said, it only takes about, about six minutes for the fish to be ready. It's got a beautiful golden brown color and when you push on it, the fish just gives lightly under the pressure of my finger. So I'm going to gently lift it up. With trout, you have to be careful that the fish doesn't fall apart because it's so delicate. So we're going to put it there on the plate. 
And now we're just going to spoon some of this great vinaigrette right on top. I just love this dish. It's really uh, nice and light. It's a dish my grandfather used to serve at his restaurant on Causeway Boulevard. So I like to keep that tradition going. But there you have it.